בעלי היעדון. But before I, before I say anything, I just want to say a quick little prayer. Father God, I'm going to go ahead and share this vision dream that you revealed to me. But I want to say in your words, in your words only. Not taking away anything and not adding anything. I want you to touch as many hearts as you can in the name of Jesus. Amen. All right, people. I had a vision. And um, I want to share it with you guys. It started like this here. I was in a farm. Big farm. Uh, there was nothing in sight. Not to the north, east, south, or west. Nothing. No trees. No buildings. No, no nothing. But I happened to look to my right hand side. And I see a shack or a shed. And I look to my left hand side and I see a, like a pond, a dry pond. Could have been a ditch, either or, but whatever it was, it was dry, no water. And uh, I look up and I see thousands of tornadoes, thousands of tornadoes. But these tornadoes, they were not big tornadoes. They were real skinny tornadoes. Probably the size of a uh, light pole, if you, if you may. Uh, thousands of them, just thousands of them. So I go to the shed and there's about six people, six, seven people in there, scared, curled up, worried, just like anybody would be, you know, just curled up. And I told them, you guys, y'all know all these tornadoes coming. What are y'all doing in this shed? This shed, this shed is not gonna make it. Um, so, guess they ain't wanna listen. So I, I got about, I got about the shed. I said, I'm gone. I'm out of here. And uh, I proceeded to get out of the shed and uh, I see these tornadoes coming. So I'm running out of the shed, I'm running. And I start running towards the ditch, a dry ditch, the dry pond, whatever you want to call it. And uh, I run towards the ditch and I see these tornadoes coming, but I'm running and running. But when I'm running towards this ditch, I'm also looking back to see how far away these tornadoes, cause they coming. And I'm looking back at these tornadoes and I so happen to fall right into this pond or this ditch. But when I fell down, into it, I fell to my knees first. 
and then I fell to my face. Basically, like, uh, in the position of bowing down. And uh, I see these tornadoes coming my way, and they actually did come right over the ditch. Not one tornado touched me. Not one. So I, I, perce I woke up. I woke up off the dream. And when I woke up, I was scared. Very scared. Just like anybody else would be. And I went to go get me a drink of water. And uh, I shook it off. Didn't think too much. I was still scared, though, but I just, I shook it off. And uh, I went back to sleep. I must have fell into a deep sleep. Because I was gone. I was knocked out. And as soon as I got knocked out, all I can see is this big angel. I mean, big, huge, giant, beautiful angel. He had to stand about 16 foot tall or even taller. And uh, his wings were so huge. He had to have a, a wingspan of 40 feet easy. So the, the angel grabbed me. He, he grabbed me around my waist like you would do a child and, you know, carry a child. So he grabbed me and he said, hold on. And I said, okay. So he grabbed me and he just sprung in the air or flew in the air, however you want to put it. But he just sprung way in the air. But when he took me to the air, he took me above the earth where I can see the whole world. I can see the whole world. I can see all nations, everything. And the angel told me to look down. So I looked down and I, and I told him, what you want me to look at? I see the world. But he said, look deeper. Look again. And when I looked again, he, he must have changed my vision. Because my vision became like microscopic. Where I can see people. And... I tell you what, I've seen so many people. He showed me all the people in the world. Everybody is just running and trying to hide and just running and running in chaos, so much chaos. All nations, I could see the whole world. I could see all nations, all people. There's so many people in the world. But he also showed me that when I looked down, I seen all the people just running around, scattered, scared, burning. It was so much chaos down here on the earth. All nations in distress. Every, everything's on fire. The United States, people, the United States is, was burning almost completely. And uh, I look around and I see all nations, they're burning too, but the United States was really burning. A lot of people dying, a lot of people dying. So he, he told me, hold on again. So he took me to another level even higher. So when he took me to the next level, first thing I'm gonna tell y'all is, I'm gonna tell y'all a little bit of my business. 
Nobody knows this in my family. Barely anybody knows this. Only my mother, sister, only people who really know. But I had a child with my wife two years ago. Going on three years, November 3rd. And the child did not make it. So when he took me to the next level, he showed me my child. And he tells me, if I do not get straight with God, I will not see my child again. People, God is real. I can't make this up. I can't make this up. He showed me my child. My child came to me, said, Daddy. Now, mind me, I didn't know the gender of it because I could just see. I could just see the body figure. But I know it was my child because my child is said, Daddy. So again, the angel told me, if you do not get right with God, you ain't going to see your child again. So he broke that up and he said, hold on again. So I held on tight. Yeah, I'm scared at this, at this point. He sprung up again, even higher to another level. So if you've been listening, that's one level, two level. This is the third level up high. I can't see the earth. I can't see nothing. It's just in the middle of nowhere. People, what he showed me now is he showed me this throne, two thrones, and I can see a figure but it was so bright, it hurt my eyes. When I'm looking at it, it just hurt my eyes. It was so bright. And he told me, that's God. When I looked at him, I can see the figure of the body. But when I looked at the figure of the body, the position that it was in. The body, God was in the position of, I don't know if you guys um, know when the track, when, when somebody runs track, the position that they get into before they fire the gun to say go. He was in that position, ready to go. Okay. And the angel tells me, Look behind them, and when I look behind them, I see a lot of angels. A lot of, a lot of angels. A lot of angels. They all have swords. Gold swords. But this gold color, there is no gold color here on earth that matches that color. None. Never seen it. I never seen it. That color is a different gold than any gold here on earth. So he had so many angels behind him. And I took it like that was like God's army because they was ready. They was right behind him. They all ready to come in the position of ready, like a track, a track runner, ready to go. So God tells me, turn around. So I turn around and he shows me the most biggest hourglass ever imaginable to a human being. It, 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 you, you can't fit this in your brain. It's so big. 
the hourglass is bigger than the world itself. It's a huge hourglass. All right, so when I look at the hourglass, people, this thing was almost empty. On the top of it, there was barely any, let's say sand, like sand pouring down like time. <clears throat> people, we have no more time. There's probably about four to six inches of sand left in that hourglass. Can't make this up. The angel looks at me and he tells me, you have to be ready. You're playing games. Then he tells me, oh, you think I'm joking. So on this hourglass, you had a knob. Like if you turn it on the faucet of water, it had a knob like that. So he goes to it and he turns it on even more, allowing that sand to come down quicker. He told me, you think I'm playing? And he turned it on quicker. People, there ain't no more time. We have no more time. It's, it's happening so fast. God is ready to come and he's ready to come now. He is not sitting down in that chair anymore. I've seen it. He's coming. He's ready. He's in position. People, he's in position. So the angel turned the knob even quicker. Then he tells me, if you don't get right, one, you're not going to see your daughter. And two, you're going to be down there on that earth suffering. There's a lot of suffering going down here. And people, you can see it. You can see it in the news. You can see it. You can see what's going on around. Y'all got to wake up. You got to wake up now. Y'all got to accept Jesus Christ as your personal Savior and believe in God. I'm telling you, he is real. It's not a myth. It's real. Can't stress it enough. Can't stress it enough. So the angel tells me, let's go right on back down. Hold on. So he goes flying just down fast, all the way down. And we come right back to earth level. Still above earth. But he tells me, look in the middle of the earth. Look in the middle. But look deep. People, what I've seen is scary. He showed me an ocean. But it, this ocean was not water. It was fire. Fire. There was a lot of people down there burning. A lot of people down there burning. But they wouldn't die. All they doing, I seen them just screaming. In pain. Screaming. Because they're burning. But they're not dying. They're not dying. So he tells me, this is coming. And it's coming soon. There is no more time. Time is running out. The only reason why 
God has not come yet is because of his mercy. He is trying to get the people ready to go. But people not listening. Then the angel tells me. Or as a matter of fact, he shows me. A scroll. So he opens up the scroll. And guess what I've seen on the scroll? All of God's prophecies before his coming. People. Every single prophecy has been checked off. There is not one that is not have a check mark by it. Every single one of them has been fulfilled. You got to believe me. And if you don't believe me and you don't get right with God, have mercy on your soul. People, y'all got to believe on in God. Got to believe in Jesus Christ. Got to believe it's going to happen. This nation is already in distress. All nations are in distress already right now. He showed me. He showed me and I seen it with my own eyes. I was in a dream or a vision, but I'm telling you, I've seen it. And me personally, I'm taking it very seriously. I've changed my life and I'm giving myself a 1000% of me to God and just having him take control. I'm not afraid of, I'm not afraid of anything really. And people who know me can tell you that. I'm really not afraid of too much but heights. I'm afraid of heights. But I'm not afraid of I'm not afraid of barely nothing. And now I'm even not more not afraid of anything after this. I'm not afraid of dying. I have the peace of God in me. People, he has a prize for us. So amazing. So amazing. Angel showed me another thing. Angel showed me heaven. It's beautiful, beautiful colors. People don't think heaven is like in the sky somewhere or some fantasy world. It's just like this here. Say so he will renew everything. Beautiful colors. The ocean was of glass. The rows of gold, the colors in the in this in, in heaven is is there's no colors here on earth whatsoever. Man, I want a part of that. I want a part of that. He ain't take me for a whole war tour, but I seen it. He said, "This is what you got coming. Don't miss out." He showed me my crown. He put that crown on my head, and I'm telling you what, I'm going to describe it to you. That same gold as them swords I was describing them angels had is the same exact gold. A lot of pearls on it. That crown is beautiful. That crown, everyone has one who's going to heaven, and it's fit just for you. He put it on me, and I promise you, that crown fit perfectly on my head perfectly on my head didn't even touch not one hair but it went around my head didn't even touch not one little hair i saw my sword he showed me my sword i got a sword i got a crown waiting on me but then as soon as he put it on he took it right back off Took it right back off because it's not time yet. I haven't earned my crown yet. So, as soon as he took it off, I woke up. It was 5.35 in the morning. 
I woke up. People, all I'm trying to say is get right with God. Love one another. Do not be deceived by this world. There's nothing in this world. There's nothing in this world for you. Nothing. Nothing or nobody is going to save you for what's coming. People going to hide. People going to want to hide. I, I've done my homework on this. I prayed about it. And I'm thinking that uh, all these people that are running around, scared, burning. It's like if you go outside, for example, and step on an ant pile. And you see all the ants just crawling up out the ant pile, just like that. But that ant pile was the world. And everybody's just scattered, running, don't know where to go. There's nowhere to hide. You can't get away from this. This is bigger than us, people. This is bigger than us. But you know what? This is not our fight. All you have to do is surrender yourself to God and let him fight the fight. You don't have to fight the fight. Let him handle it. All you got to do is believe and live for him. Give all of you to him. And we all going to be in a happy place. And we're going to be smiling. We're going to be loving each other. I guarantee you people. You got to get right with God right now. It's no time for games. It's going down. So I can't stress it enough how much important this is to get out there. I feel like I've had this vision or dream to let as many people know that God is real for real. And he's coming soon. There's no more time left. No more time left, people. Get right. Live for God. That's all I can say. God bless you. Love everybody. I love y'all and I'm out.